Welcome back YouTube to my channel. Um, hope you guys have been enjoying the videos of late, especially the repotting videos. Um, this is another repotting session. This is a more established tree. Now I'm starting to get into my established trees especially. You would have seen this video, this tree sorry, in previous videos where I wired them up and getting it ready um, for an exhibition coming up. I think this will be in the display for the exhibition. So hope you guys get down to the exhibition on the 27th and 28th of July um, 2019 that is um, at Footscray in Melbourne so if you guys can get there you'll see this in person plus some other trees I've got but today I'm going to repot this tree now the thing with this tree is I haven't repotted it for two years so I want to see how it has gone over over two years and being in that pot for two years Sometimes usually with tridents I do them every year because the roots are so strong and so vigorous that they've just grown and grown and grown. Um, so I've had a few dramas with my phone, which I record my videos. Um, I had a few bit of a meltdown with the phone and I lost one, a video that I've done for another trident. So unfortunately, <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be a bit slow putting up videos in the next week or so. Um, but yeah, we'll keep it going and hopefully you'll see some more videos come through. Um, so this Trident Maple, really nice, really established. It's going to go back in the same pot. Um, I'm just going to do the process of cleaning it up and getting it ready and repotted. Um, so let's see how we go today. So we just follow the same process as always. Have our, have our tools ready, have our tree ready, have our soil ready behind me. Um, hopefully you guys can hear my voice okay today. So let's get stuck into it. First thing I do, oh, first thing I do is check if I've wired this tree in. No. Yes, I have. There is a wire, so I better get my wire cutters. Ideally, I'd like to try and find. Oh, it's here. So it's pretty easy. I cut that off. Yeah, try not to knock the tree branches and pull it through, so it comes out easy. That's done. This tree's gonna move, so I usually will use this spatula and get in and dig around. There's a bit of a lip on this pot, there's just a little bit of a lip, so I'm not sure if it's gonna come out easily as I hoped. But let's keep going. Just the branches. really hard to get in there so I'm hoping that means lots of nice roots in there full pot full of roots oh, it's really difficult Now with tridents, you've seen in other videos I've done, I've cut them up back pretty hard. So doing this kind of work isn't on tridents isn't as um, isn't as difficult as it might seem. Like you can take lots of roots off um, and they come back a lot better. I don't even take, uh, as I said to, in other videos, I don't take as much root as other people take off. So you know it's actually quite vigorous and quite strong. But this has taken a while, isn't it? So two years in a pot <laughs> for tridents, this is what happens. It's very hard to get them out. Unless it's the lip that's causing it, but no, I think it's just that two years in here, full of roots, very solid. So let's see. Almost there, I can feel it coming out now. Just gotta get around into this section. Just gotta be careful not to knock the branching as well just be careful ah oh, there we go i think it's out now wow it's another massive roots especially for the beginners don't be scared to try and repot your trees guys it's not that hard if you're too scared of taking up too much root then don't take so much 
but get into the habit of repotting and don't be scared everyone starts off in the same place um, even the even the professionals one day started this bonsai and just and just doing it and trying it out oh that's really difficult yeah so don't be scared i know i've gotten a few comments about people too scared to repot their trees but it's not that bad not that hard all right here we go oh geez so typical of a trident maple fashion <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. I hope you guys can see that mass, absolute mass of roots circling around the pot. So pretty much all the all the actual, even the plastic mesh has gone come up. So you can see how healthy these roots are. Extremely healthy guys. So loving it. Oh. So we've got to go through it and get rid of all the all the crap and all the um, not crap sorry guys but all the moss on the top and all the fine fine so i find that after two years there's lots more fine particles at the top um, so we've got to get rid of a lot of that um, i've got to prepare the pot as well so let me do a couple of things and i'll come back and show you the rest of the steps okay so as always first thing i do is prepare the pot it's going to go back in the same pot. I love the um, this pot starting to get that patina to it, they call it. A um, bit of age to it and the, the, the sharpness of the colour is fading and looks really good. Um, I really like that cream pot. So I have a thing with cream pots and trident maples, as you'll see in other, other videos. Um, now I'm just um, starting to clean up the top of this tree, remove some of that moss so you can see that nice flared base there. Um, because the moss was covering that, you couldn't see that before. This tree is really cool because it's got a few scars and stuff like that, but it actually adds to this tree's age, I find. Um, so it's been really good. I've just started to clean up some of this. I just want to show you what I do. So I use my root hook and just work my way through the top. Uh, if you dig in a little bit, it starts to loosen, and that's the beauty of having a nice open mix. Um, so it digs in and things just start to fall away. So I just start roughly doing that. It is a bit, um, there's a lot of fines in the top, unfortunately, that's because obviously the moss, two years of moss and fertilizer and stuff breaks down eventually and gets in there, so that's why we've got to repot. So that, that water will actually seep through better now after this. So I just do a rough, getting stuck into it, getting stuck into it. Move some of this away. Now let's have a look at these babies. Oh, look at this. I can pull this off with my hand, but it's so thick. It's like ridiculous. So, two years is the problem. <laughs> I really want to only repot these two every two years, but um, as you can see, sometimes doing them every year probably is a good thing too. But this is all coming apart pretty well, pretty easily. Um, nothing too major, but you see the health of trident maples. They're the best. I love them. So there's some really heavy, actually, that's, there's a, that's the issue. There's probably some really heavy roots that form. So this one here, I'll show you in a minute. But it's quite thick. Uh, you don't need those thickness. So maybe that's another, obviously that's another disadvantage of leaving with it too long. You get some really heavy roots forming at the bottom. It's good to have the roots at the top for the nabari, for the root spread, um, but not having, you don't need them at the bottom. So doing this comb out, oh man, so thick in there. I'm going to have to try and cut a lot of this off. Some nice sharp scissors, guys, and just get into it.
So I'm up to the big fat root there. You can see that on its own pretty much. I'm just gonna come come in straight off. And there you go, there's there's a quick first go at the roots. Um, pretty pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna give this a wash, I might do a bit of so now the next bit I'll do is probably just get in there and try and knock some of this out. Because this base bit is usually there's a nice hollow in there I've made over the years. And there you go. Let's fill that with roots too. So I'm gonna give this a wash to try and get a lot of these fines out. Um, and trying to get a lot of these fines out as well. So I'll give it a nice jet spray. Um, so you can see it's pretty mashy in there. Um, and then I'll give this a wash as well. Because two years, it's getting quite compact, even though it's a big open mix. Um, just use the jet spray on the hose. Let's get rid of that. So as you've seen in other videos, it's pretty much the same process every single time. It's not that hard, it's just experience and just having a go. Just have a go, guys. It's, it's fun. Well, it's dirty work, but it's fun. So I'll be back once I've cleaned this up and um, I'll show you what it looks like. So I've given it a wash and you can see that my roots much nicer. You can see how bigger chunks of the soil, the old soil is still in there. Well, not soil, but pumice. You can see the pumice pieces, hopefully. They'll probably just fall away, you can see that. Um, in there, you look at the healthy roots. You can see all that, some nice roots. This is an interesting root that's forming in here because of this hollow in here. This actually might be nice in the future. I'm hoping that develops more and gets stronger. That one in there. Um, yeah, it looks nice and healthy. Just a bit of fine tuning and maybe some of the heavier roots. I'll just get rid of. Don't need the heavy ones, but that's pretty much, pretty much it. Give it a little trim up. That's pretty much ready um, to go. So I just wanted to show you what I took off. So that, that's how much came off. It's a lot there, it looks like spaghetti. But there you go. Into the recycle. <laughs> now get the pot ready. Here we go. Same process, and put the tree aside. I hope you guys can see that. Clearly, let me just shoot. Yep, get your soil ready, which is should be just behind me. Let's see what it is. So let's try that much first. Now, let's find position. I think I like it in that spot there. Um, going forward, looks nice, comes forward to the viewer. Um, I think it gives this, gives this area that area to, to spread through and it looks like it's a more stronger look there. I like that. So that's about where I position it. No real, not really in the middle. Maybe it's, it's probably just slightly to the right a little bit to, to enable this to flow this way through. Um, as you saw, I tried to work it in a little bit to the roots, I mean, into the soil, which is always what I do. So it tries to eliminate the air gaps I have. But yeah, just just Jimmy check, that looks really good in that spot. Now I've got the wires behind it, so I'm going to wire it from behind because I want to display this tree this year. I don't want to see that wire, I want to try and hide it in the back. So we'll do that against that. Root. Just get my gin, I mean my flies, and tighten it. So that's tightened in. So now it's pretty much, let's work the soil in. With, the, with my trusty chopsticks. So let's get some soil in. Now I sometimes find the little weeds, I pull them out 
as I go along. Um, yeah, so make sure you try and get as many of them as you can, especially the seed for those weeds. So usually I put a lot in, just like put it all around the place and not don't work it in just yet. Because I can't really tip into this section here, I just put it next to it and just drag it along. Drag it along. Now if you've got a little soil scoop, there's these little ones that you, I've got one, but you think I'll use it. You do that sometimes. fun begins you've probably seen me do this many times so if you start to work it in look at that. I don't know you won't be able to see that but the soil level drops meaning it's really getting into the little um, gaps and, and areas around the roots um, so that's why you use the chopstick method you can use your fingers as well but they're a bit thicker <laughs> but with your chopsticks you can get right in there work it in wiggle it around and you fill those gaps in quite easily, quite quickly. So I'll come back and show you the rest of the tree after I've done that. Okay everyone, so here's the finished tree. Well watered, nicely watered in. Um, there you go, there's the front. Another repotting done. It isn't that hard guys, so get stuck into it. Um, this is a nice little tree. I really like this tree, how it's coming along. Perfect pop for it, in my opinion. You see the branching is all really nice. Um, yeah. Coming forward slightly, beautiful. I really like it. It's just it's perfect little combination there. So there's another tree done for the year. Now I'm going to keep, as I said to you in previous videos, if you've um, been watching my tridents this year, I'm going to try and repot all of them in one go and then leave them two years and then do it, do it again. Probably save some, save some of my time as well, but I'm gonna give them two years now in each pot um, and just see how they go. It also lets me know the schedule they're all on without having to label every single one. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, if, you have, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, so you can get notifications of any new videos I put up. See you next time, bye.